If you are looking for a way to accept partial payments on your WooCommerce store, then this video is for you. Now, if I come over to this product, you see that pay deposit is enabled and my customers are required to pay a deposit of 20% per item. Apart from paying a certain percentage on the total amount of the product, my customers can also pay a fixed amount. So if this is what you want, keep watching. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can accept partial payment on your WooCommerce store. To achieve this, I'm going to install a plugin. To do that, I go over to the back end of my website, so I click on dashboard. Then I go over to plugins, click on add new plugin. Under search plugins, I search for partial payments. And this is the very plugin I'm going to install deposits and partial payments for WooCommerce by Ecowebs. I click on install now. It is installed. I go ahead and activate. The plugin is installed successfully and I have it right here. The next thing I want to do is go over to settings or you can simply click on deposits right here. Under general settings, this is where you want to enable deposits. You can also choose to allow users to deposit after they are signing onto your website. So this is where you can enable it. For this demonstration, I'll switch it off. Next is deposit type. At the moment, it is set to fixed amount. So if I enter, for instance, 20 here, it means that my customers will have to pay $20 or whatever currency you are using as the deposit. This will not be ideal, especially when you are selling product that has lesser cost than the amount you'll be specifying here. What I'm going to do is change fix to percentage so that my users will have to always pay some percentage on the cost of their products. So if I enter 20, it means that my customers will be paying 20% on the total cost of their purchases. It should be noted that you can also set whatever fixed amount and percentage on every single product you have on your shop. For this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and leave deposit amount empty. Next, we have default selection where you can choose from pay full and pay deposit. Since we want users to be able to pay deposit, we'll have to choose pay deposit. When the order has a fully paid status, we want to change it to completed. Even though everything will depend upon the kind of products you are selling. If you sell products that require shipping, you may want to choose processing. But if you are selling digital products, you may want to choose completed. For this demonstration, let's keep it as processing. Next, we have disable payment gateways. From here, you can disable some payment gateways which you don't want your users to see when they are going to be using the partial payments. So if I select check payments and then cash on delivery, these two payment gateways will not show for users who will be making partial payments. All is set, I click on save changes. Next, I go over to labels and text. This is where you can perform some text customizations. So what text do you want to see as your pay deposit text? It is set to pay deposit. Pay full amount text is set to pay full amount and the rest of them. So if you want to change any of these labels, this way you can do that. For this demonstration, I'll just leave the defaults. Now all is set. I go over to products. You can go ahead and add new products. But for this demonstration, I'm going to work on my existing products. So I click on all products. I'll select one of my products. Just click on edit under the set product going down i have the cost of my product as 150 dollars right here i have deposits enable deposit is set to yes that is what we want next is deposit type so from here you can choose fixed or percentage let's see how fixed will work and i'm going to go ahead and enter the fixed amount let's say 50 dollars all is set i click on update the product is updated. I can view it from here. Open link in a new tab. And this is how my product page will look like. You see that pay deposit is selected and the pay deposit amount is set to $50 per item. So if the user is buying say two products, it means that they will have to pay $100. They can also choose to pay full amount. Then go ahead and add to cart. Awesome. Let's see how the percentage payments will work. So I go back to the product, going back, deposits, I change fix to percentage and I want my customers to pay 
all is set i click on update now let's take a look i refresh and now i have paid deposit of 20 percent per item so if i add the product to cart then i go ahead and view the cart right here you see the deposit amount which is set to 30 dollars because 20 percent of 150 will give us 30 dollars and future payment will now set to 120 dollars going down i click on checkout i enter my billing details and right here you see that bank transfer is selected simply because we disabled cash on delivery and check payments so if i were to select full payment all the payment gateways on the website will have been displayed right here i click on place order now my order is placed if i go to the back end then i hover on woocommerce click on orders i have the order right here which is set to on hold simply because i'm using an offline payment gateway i'll just go ahead and select the user if i scroll down right here you see the two payments that is deposit and future payment so that's it on how you can set partial payment or deposit on your woocommerce store I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, kindly click on the like button, subscribe if you are new here and also enable the notification bell so that you don't miss my future videos. In the meantime, stick around to watch another video YouTube thinks you should watch next. Keep watching and I will see you in the next video.